Anyway, what do, what do you think of this uh, hex flower thing? I don't know whether you... It's... I quite like it, man. I quite like it. It's good. I think it's it's kind of one of those things that... Um, the, the difficulty with these things is... is um, it, it could end up lasting for almost forever if mm-hmm. you if you if the roles go a certain way yeah um but equally though i do like the when you get to a certain point if you if you if you go a certain way so like the way that i've just this just happened to me where actually then that's that's actually allowed me to get to jump forward quite a lot yeah the edge as the well edge, so it's kind of it's, yeah yeah, yeah so i think that i think that then is that then helps because otherwise kind of the, the only difficulty being that 12 is is a really yeah. difficult number to roll mm-hmm. um yeah, definitely. so yeah you're right you uh, could get trapped in the bottom if you couldn't if you didn't have these edge rules that jumped you up and i think the yeah. other thing is that, yeah. that quite important in this this scenario to spend your points properly so when you were in zone yeah. three that was definitely the time to spend your two points to get into zone four yeah if you if yeah. you'd gone the way you were, you would have ended up back on recon plus one. Yeah. Which would have been, you know, sort of okay. <laughs> You've got an extra point, but what you really want to do is get to yeah. zone four. So if you use your points, because I you know I, I tested this like quite a lot. And if you if you've got like three points and you spend them sensibly, there's a good chance you can get to the zone four, you know, and then yeah. you know without you know, not forever, but you're right. If if this was, if there were no edge rules and no points, you could just get stuck in the bottom for, I mean, you would get yeah. stuck in the bottom forever. <laughs> I mean, literally. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but I think, I think what I thought was important is that if you're going to have the points, you've got to tie them into some little narrative. Otherwise it's just points. But I th- yeah, I think that's kind of, that's made all of this though, hasn't it? Cause we, you, as we were, as we were chatting away, it's just, it's, it's like we've both been working on the rooms and all the other bits and pieces just for rather than just you're in a room that's thing no and mm-hmm. it, it's it's kind of just trying to make them come alive and, and yeah. look at the stuff so you kind of you feeding me stuff but then equally me um with the, with the stuff that i'm coming up with i could just see you go oh yeah but what about this and, and yeah. stuff there so well, that's i was a bit self-conscious yeah. i was thinking well am i am i am i chipping in too much because obviously you know this gives you the gives you as the sort of player a bit of a chance to kind of do your own like thing and i think but i quite think i, I thought it was quite nice because i like you say this and i think oh yeah so does that mean this that kind of thing yeah yeah so I, thought, I mean to me and, it's and fun, for some of that like, as well because it's because it's not just a, it's not just about my enjoyment it's about yeah. your enjoyment as well so it, it is that kind of dual thing of just yeah. working together to, to just have fun because it's not as if i've then gone oh yeah and these things are worth 10 million gold <laughs> coin each and stuff like that you know it's, it's it's trying to keep it realistic and trying to you know make sure that that it's that it's within reason and stuff yeah. and 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 then kind of but I think just, what's being, neat is like, just trying to make it interesting for both of us yeah and i think what's neat is that you know none of that's written down it's just tables mm. yeah so, that's it know, absolutely and, you know what and th- like one one thing of fishy smell means a certain thing to me and a different thing to you and so you know straight away i'm kind of thinking oh god could it be a river troll or something down mm. there or some of that and and yet you're thinking about, you know, you're, I'm sure in your mind you're thinking about something else. So, yeah, you know, it's, well, it didn't occur to yeah, me that a, a river troll. Do you said I went, mm, maybe it should have been a river troll. <laughs> 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 I did. Well, I, I thought basically it was quite good to test it out because I've not really tested with anyone, you know, just sort of run it on a kind of simulation, like oh, what would happen here. So I, th- I think, the, yeah, maybe I should let you go to bed, but it'd be interesting to get your thoughts because, like, the procedural tables sounds like you think they they're kind of fun the way they generate stuff, you know the, the yeah, rooms yeah, and all yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. I think I think probably the probably thinking about the queen, it should probably be always be one size bigger than you roll because she, she always needs a bit of space. If you know what I mean, she does like, need a bit of space, but, but then she's got to move around at some time. And I think with the other could, stuff, all of those guys running off to come and get me, she's probably just thought, oh, geez, what if what if they don't come back? They're not come back really quickly. I need to move or whatever I mean, yeah. or something like that. I mean, like, you know. could have met her in a corridor, for example. That would have been interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, home dog. Um, I know it's late. 11, not quite 11.30. So get some yep. sleep. But uh, yeah, yeah man. plan your... Cool. Did I write down how many, how many beasties? Uh, I wrote it down to nine workers, a warrior and a queen. And larvae. Oh. 
19 workers. <laughs> One warrior, queen. And a two-headed black dragon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right.